Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. If you've been watching our uh, revival, you see we've been having a good time there. And um, this is a devotion from the revival today for July 27th. July 27th, 1953. Closed to the gospel. After they were come to Mysia, they essayed to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit suffered them not. And that was Acts 16.7. With communism to the north and freedom to the south, the armistice to end the Korean War was signed in the former Korean capital of Kaesong. The armistice ended the war that claimed over 545,000 lives and wounded over 2.5 million civilians. A demilitarized zone was established to separate North and South Korea after the war. South Korea was open to missionaries and evangelists from America, and many went in to preach the gospel and saw great spiritual fruit. Yet, 50 years later, the North is still closed to the gospel. Churches in South Korea have funds stored up for the day when the dictatorship of North Korea is removed and the border opens. Korean pastors and evangelists stand ready to take the gospel to their fellow men and women to the North who have never had a chance to hear the gospel. How we need to pray for these closed countries. There was a time when missionaries would not get into the former Soviet Union, and yet today, while the situation is less than idea, the gospel is being preached. Missionaries are in Cuba, Laos, and Vietnam because God has cracked open the door at least for a time. Why should we hear the gospel twice when millions have never heard it once? May God use our generation to pray, store up funds, and train laborers to be ready to go to Bithynia when the Holy Spirit opens the door. We must be careful in our thinking, however. Sometimes we assume that open doors mean that going will be easy, that no sacrifice will be required. Yet the Apostle Paul wrote, For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. Any true work of God will encounter opposition, but God's grace is always greater. God's grace is always greater. There is always opposition uh, to revival and, uh, and to the work of the Lord, that's for sure. This is an old song written in 1925. We'll give it a shot today. And, uh, if you know it, you can sing it along with me. Patiently, tenderly pleading, Jesus is standing today. At your heart's door, He knocks as before. Oh, turn Him no longer away. Don't turn Him away. Don't. back to your heart again although you've gone astray oh how you need him to plead your cause on that eternal day don't turn the Savior away from your heart don't turn him away Gracious, compassionate mercy Brought him from mansions above Caused him to wait just outside your gate Oh, yield to his wonderful love Don't turn him away Don't has come back to your heart again although you've gone astray 
Oh, how you need him to plead your cause on that eternal day. Don't turn the Savior away from your heart. Don't turn him away. Can you not now hear him calling? Do not ill treat such a friend. Give up your sin, oh, let him come in. He will be true to the end. Don't turn him away. Don't. back to your heart again although you've gone astray oh how you need him to plead your cause on that eternal day don't turn the Savior away from your heart don't turn him away now is the time to receive him grant him admission today grieve him no more but open your door and turn him no longer away don't turn him away don't Again, although you've gone astray, oh, how you need him to plead your cause on that eternal day. Don't turn the Savior away from your heart. Don't turn him away. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to look into your word. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to speak your word. But God, we know that we cannot make people hear it. God, we cannot make people accept uh, the plan of salvation. Unless you deal, unless you draw them to you, they will never be saved. God, I pray that you will draw. I pray that you will deal. I pray that they will hear and they will obey. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. We'll see you Wednesday.